Another amazing show here on Crafters TV. It's Wednesday evening here in the UK, which means, of course, it's time for Creative Cravings, that one show of the week where we maybe take it back to basics a little bit. It's a great opportunity to ask any of the crafty questions that you might have on the tip of your tongue. Uh, I won't be answering them, no, of course not. I could, I'm not qualified, let's face it, but I know a lady that is. My TV wife is back with me. Debbie Fisher's here. How are you, Debbie? I'm good, Joe. How are you? I'm really good, thank you. Good, I'm good. in a bit of a... I'm going to say it, I'm in a bit of a sassy mood this you evening, so I don't know what's going to happen. Who knows what's going to happen this evening? <laughs> it's going to be a, lo a Laura Laura laugh. It is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Started already. Uh, let's have a look at what we got coming up, Joe. So I've let's. got some gorgeous samples here. Uh, these panel border dies are just exquisite. You can cut them in, you can cut them out, you can cut them on the side, on the edge. There's so much that we can do with these. Some really gorgeous designs. So if you love those, you're going to love all the rest of the die cutting that we've got, including one of our newest boxes. Uh, these ones are absolutely gorgeous. I will just bring that across so you can see it. So we've got the pop out seam ones these are so cute so sweet you're getting all the papers in them to make these gorgeous cars i mean look at this one just absolutely stunning and then if that wasn't enough joe we've got the gorgeous liftables on these are so lovely they move so you can you have those sort of pop out elements we've got all different designs but one of my favorites is definitely the dragonfly one they're mm. all just beautiful they are there's a few really awesome collections in here we've got some great deals as well on the products that are coming up for you too uh, let's kick things off then with those liftables that Debbie just spoke about uh, really great collection here now I mean you, you've previously I mean I think what we might have done with these something like this is, is left these all connected in one panel so you die cut the panel and then uh, that was it they were spaced as is on the die the great thing about these is that what you've got is all individual dies so it means that if you want to use a collection of the smaller ones you can if you want to use a collection of the larger ones you can or you can mix them up you can play around with the spacing so tiny projects right through to massive scrapbooks are all going to be uh, absolutely suitable for these you've got the butterflies you'll get the dragonflies You'll also get the love hearts in here as well. All got that liftable element on them, which is fantastic. You've then got these here, which are your flowers, as you can see. You will also get in there the stars, and also you've got the fairies in there as well. 39.19, for Platinum members to get a hold of them. A whole host of different projects that you can add those onto. Something that's been so popular since we launched them are the panel dies. Now they're kind of like a creator card, but a double edgeable as well at the same time because you've got so many options with these. Now you can either cut them into your cardstock or use the removable outside edges to cut them out either in their entirety or of course you can cut them into the sides. So you can see here clearly five different ways of using each one of those dies. And you've got lots of aperture on there as well. So you've got the flowers, you've also got the peony within here. This one here is your butterflies and you'll receive the stars in there too. Really awesome dies those. And a, a creator card die can be anywhere from, I don't know, 14.99 to 24.99. That's normally what you'd pay. What you're kind of getting here is a creator card style with the added outside edges and you're paying a fraction of that, which is incredible. 27 pounds and two pence or $38.87 for Club Inspire Platinum members, which is brilliant, brilliant value for money. Uh, Hannah says, I look like a Dalmatian today. Yeah, thanks, Hannah. Um, I think I think she means a shirt, Cruella. not like not the rest of me. Cruella, absolutely Boy, Cruella. not. How dare you? <laughs> Debbie's in a very bold mood tonight, right? <laughs> she um, she just asked me if I was halfway through time. She just asked me if I was going to pick my rubbish up after myself. <laughs> I, I feel like there's we not really TV wife category, <laughs> straying into TV mum category uh, this evening is what's happening. I think that's just like a TV wife. That's a normal wife, isn't it? Is nagging, it? nagging. Well. <laughs> Most well, I think you know, we sleep in separate bedrooms. I mean, all the qualifications, Debbie. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me, you've got any burning questions, Crafters TV if you're over on Facebook, Crafters Companion if you're on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe uh, if you are watching us over on YouTube as well. But I believe Debbie's going to kick things off with the liftables. Is that right, Debbie? Yeah, definitely. I love these. They're, they're great because they can act, even though they cut into the card, they're very snippable, which means you can cut them out as well. So you've got a whole array of little toppers. So starting off with this one I do love a TP card and to be able to cut all those beautiful 
beautiful flowers into here. And this is what I'm on about with the snippability. You can snip them out and then mat and layer them over the top. They look fabulous. The fairy is just gorgeous. Glitter her wings, put some shiny cards underneath, which looks lovely. Uh, we've got the hearts. We've got the gorgeous dragonflies, which are absolutely beautiful. Love this sort of design of card because it shows them in a totally different way where you can use them with those extra toppers, your nesting dies. Um, and then we've got, of course, the butterflies, which just look lovely. We did some colour washes today, Joe, which would look lovely with these cut into them. Uh, and then one of my favourites is the star. There's something really nice about stars. Uh, we seem to have quite a few of them in all different collections. So I thought you were going to say just here at Crafters TV we have a lot of we stars. We have a lot of stars. We, we have do. One, I stare at one every day when I come in across oh, there. I bet you say that to Ben when he's here as you're, well. You're my shining star. I never say that to Ben. Do no. you not? No. No, you're my only TV husband. Well, so apparently, Debbie, uh, Debbie uh, Robinson is uh, Ben's uh, TV, TV wife. Mistress. But he's already got a real <laughs> wife, so I reckon she's his TV mistress. She's got to be. <laughs> she's all right with that. She's all right being his other woman. That's you are. funny. <laughs> right, I've lost my piece of card, Joe, so I'm going to have to cut myself. We're starting already, look, and I've lost my piece of card. So I am just going to trim down another piece to cut. Um, so let's do that. We're going to do it five by seven. Cheryl says she always looks forward to seeing in, tuning in. No, I'll try that again. She always looks forward to seeing what Joe's shirt of the day will be. Oh, that's fun, isn't it? That's very you know, nice. Kylie and Ogon on her Instagram, she has shoes of the day. She just posts what shoes she wears every Does single she day. Really? Always got a new pair. Maybe I could do that. I've got an absolute corker of a shirt lined up for Sunday night. If it turns up and if it fits, you know what it's like when you buy stuff on the internet. Debbie, mm -hmm. uh, and trying to buy festive things in July is a little more challenging also, uh, than you expect. Also, we're going festive. Yes, very festive. Oh. I don't know how much I want to tell you about Sunday. Johnny keeps telling me I'm allowed to like go full disclosure, but I think he is leading me up the garden path, Debbie. Hmm. Well, I don't think he wants to get into trouble or get you into trouble, so I'm sure it's allowed. Mm. Jury's out. So Maybe Ben will say tomorrow. I'll oh, let yeah, Ben get in ben trouble. Tomorrow. I'll tell Ben how wonderful he is tomorrow. <laughs> Joe's face. Ah, <laughs> oh, he knows I love him. Right, so what I've done is just place those dies just on a white sheet of card and we're going to use that as our main panel for the front of our card. But also I want to cut them out uh, using different coloured cardstock. So taking these ones out and you can see all of those will cut beautifully into there. You've also got all those added elements of inside. Let me grab myself a pokey tool. So you've got all these stars as well. So you've got a great uh, design kit here with all, and, and that's the same with all of them, whether it be the uh, dragonflies, the fairies, you've got all those little mini decorations as well that you can sure. use. Here, so I'm going to say it. Do you know that uh, what dragonflies symbolise, Debbie? Uh, no. New beginnings. And I don't say it when Charlotte's here, because every time I say it, she goes, yeah, I know, because you keep saying it every time we have them on. <laughs> but she's not in today, so I can say it. Adam didn't know that. No, I didn't you know that. It's a sign of new beginnings. She's savage, you know, sh that Charlotte. Honestly, she looks like butter wouldn't melt, honestly. <laughs> so, I'm going to bring this one in, Joe, because I've got one that I've cut to, to the right size and I've popped these on top of some really bright uh, card here. So, you can see, same sort of thing. Cut them into what of, uh, whatever card shape you want. I just want to leave this piece here because I want to uh, put, and I've got my uh, party. So from Sarah's tea party, I've just cut out that party. Nice. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to lay this, uh, stick this on the top. So I'm going to use my red, no I'm not, I'm going to use my um, tape pen. And we're just going to stick that down. And then what I've done is out of different coloured cardstocks, I've then uh, cut some added ones. 
and we're going to stick those over the top. I'd love, uh, if anyone's got any, as anyone owns these collections that we've got on the show today and has been using them, creating lots of wonderful things, I'd love to see some pictures, wouldn't you, Debbie? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and you can yes. send those to us really easily. Uh, attach them to an email and send it to studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. Studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. It's just, just down there somewhere. There you are. There you are. So, what I've then got, Jo, I've got all my added elements you here. You know what these I've give you, don't you? These dies, Debbie. Um, yes, I do, but so I can't do they give think you? of they it. They give on. you a great a ap ap opportunity, opportunity to craft. Opportunity, that's do. the one. That's the one. So, I've cut these out again so you can see, and all you need to do is follow the lines round to cut the actual uh, parts out. And we're going to then layer these over the top. So, I am going to bring in my dotty tape pen and just a piece of card that we can use to stick them down. But actually, I'm thinking, oh no, I haven't got Gloria with me. Oh no. I know, I haven't got her, because she's, well, she's in the bottom of the carrier bag from oh, bless where her. I dropped it. Yeah, she's, dropped probably, she's probably leaked everywhere. Yeah, she probably, no, because she's got a pin in her, so oh, okay. um, she wouldn't have leaked anywhere. Right, so we're going to place this on to our star so it fits perfectly and it just adds that interest constantly um, where we're crafting so I'm just checking where we need to stick them stick some more down and these will still lift because the initial die that you cut in the bottom is still going to lift up so once I've done this we can use the pokey tool to go over the top and uh, lift them all up again. Uh, loads of people tuning in and saying hello to us today. We're a very chatty bunch today, actually, on socials. Jean is saying hi from Mississippi. Violet, um, oh, what a great name. Violet Dollinger Hastings. Oh. What a great name. Excited for another great show here in North Carolina. Tammy's in Massachusetts. Uh, Kimberly's in from North Carolina. Uh, Sarah's Creation saying uh, hello from Ohio. Ohio, Ohio. Sarah's Creations. Uh, Deborah is in as well from Bakersfield, California, saying hello to me and the gang and yourself, Debbie. Uh, Deborah Wold is saying, that was the one I just read out. Uh, nice 25 US saying hi from Arizona. Who else we got here? Judy's in Pennsylvania. Georgianne is in Clearwater, Florida, saying hi, as she always does. Uh, Teresa is in from a very sunny and humid Long Island. I love that Teresa not only says hello, Debbie, when she says hello, she gives me a weather report as well. <laughs> and as a Brit, I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. <laughs> It's a little bit clammy here in the northeast, isn't it, this evening? Oh, it's uh, freezing The tonight. high of 23 today. It's currently 22. There's a very slight northwesterly breeze, uh, and the chance of rain is 0%. There you go, <laughs> Therese. I feel like you might appreciate that. <laughs> so, oh, there we go. can get my star in then, Joe. Let's just do the last couple here. Uh, and pop them back in. Apparently we're cute together. That's what Mary says. We're, we're cute together. Cute couple. Yeah. Uh, Lynette saying, good evening, Debbie and Joe. Looking forward to what we're going to make tonight. Mary Pat saying hi from Montana. I'll be in inventor... Inventor... Ooh, what's this one? Inventorying. Inventorying. In mm. inventory. My warehouse orders whilst listening to Debbie's giggles. <laughs> um, uh, Maxine saying hi, Joe and Debbie. So looking forward to joining you both live tonight. Rather than on catch up. Hi, crafty crew. Uh, who else we got here? Oh, Sunday is festive, Joe, is it? Tell us, says uh, Hannah Hicks. Uh, Mary's got the dragonflies in this collection and loves them. Uh, and Christina says, I need to know how you construct, Gloria. Don't understand how it hasn't leaked. I'm here in upstate New South Carolina. Uh, well, it's because... Um Gloria's the little glue bottle with a pin in, in her and the pin stops it from coming out and the construction is the top of a water bottle so you just cut that out and it sticks into the top and I then put a piece of sellotape underneath so it actually holds the pin down into place so it doesn't come out. So actually she probably hasn't leaked at all because, um, uh, because she is on that piece of sellotape. Isn't it terrible that we talk about it like... Um, like Gloria's real. <laughs> Gloria is, are you telling me Gloria is not well, real? <laughs> are you, are you <laughs> Did I shatter your dreams there? <laughs> yeah. 
think I would be never... starting some sort of conspiracy that Santa's not real. Oh, never. Do you know what? In all these years, I've never, ever told my kids, and bearing in mind my son's 30 this year, um, I have never told any of them that Santa's not real. Well, why would you? No, exactly. Because he is real. That's what I mean. Yeah, exactly. So, never, even when they think that he's not real, not real, <laughs> not real. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> Teresa says, thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. I thought you might, Teresa. There you go. I'll try and give you a weather update at the start of every show if you guys would like it. You know, public, public service broadcasting and all that. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Last one. Up the top there. Yeah, the sun's come too late for me. See, I had my weekend up in Durham. Oh, I thought, we were, I thought there was a metaphor for a moment then. <laughs> <laughs> the sun came too late for me on the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. We've only, we've only still got an hour and 45 minutes left of this show, Debbie. I mean, already the yours are well and truly off. <laughs> <laughs> it's been an interesting day today, is not it? It has been an interesting day today, yes. Um, so, right, I had, there it is, right in front of me. So all we're going to do is we're going to pop our party in the corner and we're going to put a little bow on that this is gorgeous it's looking lovely isn't it I love and the it use really of the banners. is yeah it's just adding that little detail and matching in as well our um our color scheme so it's like adding in that blues with the, the purples and the pinks i haven't even put it on a card have i i'm thinking <laughs> <laughs> that's, i was like oh that's that feels a bit thin <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't think I've ever done that before. I've made, made the whole card without actually sticking it onto a card. So there we go. We will, we will make a card of it, Joe. There we go. We got there eventually. Oh, and there we go. Our How pretty oh, party card. <laughs> I love it. And that's just one thing you can do with one of these sets. And remember, you can completely customise it because you are totally in charge of the layout and how they go and how you set them up on your particular project, which is awesome. Let me run you through the options that you've got. You can do the exact same with every single one of the sets that you've got in here. So you've got the butterflies, the dragonflies, the hearts, the flowers. You've also got the stars and the fairies in there as well. You can get all of them. Uh, they are available individually. You can also get two for £18 or $24. But of course, as always, the best way to get the best value is to go for the complete collection, uh, which is awesome. Right, the hero tool is this uh, lovely selection of goodies. Now, it is this, isn't it? Uh, okay. Well, it's just a bit, yes. Yeah. So what you basically, what you're paying for is, now, let me take this out of here for you so I can show you what it does. Do you get the classic in there? The illustrator as well? Oh, okay, don't know. Uh, right. <laughs> let me put that in there. Uh, <laughs> what you're going to do is you're going to, you can buy the tote bag, which is this here. Now, it is the perfect size uh, for either your Gemini Go, <laughs> I'm getting the sack today, or uh, the Gemini Mini. I love that you've got lots of pockets in here. So on the inside, two nice deep gusseted pockets on the inside, uh, nice slip pockets on the outside, two on the front, two on the back, two on the side as well. Buy that, that on its own, 19.99 or 24.95, which is excellent, but we're gonna give you pretty much uh, the same again, value-wise, in actual hero tools, which I love. So you're gonna get the die brush tool with the foam pad, that's gonna come in there for you. We're gonna give you one of our legendary extra strong tape pens in there. Uh, you've also got your bone folder as well, that's gonna come in there. Uh, you've got a metal edge ruler in here too, it's great for using with your um, craft knife. And you're gonna get a blending tool in there too. You're not paying for any of that. The value on those elements, £20.45 or $30.79, which is excellent, just stay there, because I better go and pick that up because I, I Oh, poor John, otherwise I'll get told off. Um, right, I, I won't put it back in though. Uh, so definitely grab a hold of that whilst it's on such a great deal. Um, Donna Baker says she wants to definitely hang out with us all at the end of the day. I'd laugh so much. It is, we do have, we do have quite a good laugh, I must say. Uh, let's pop that back over there. 
Right, panel dies, uh, which are these ones just here. Now, these are fantastic because, again, they're great value. When you break it down, you're looking at what? Um, about £8, uh, about £8.50 per die, uh, which is amazing value. And then you've got four, five different ways of using them. So you're looking at about, I don't know, uh, £1.60 per use. I mean, it is amazing value. So you've got your daisies in there, which is brilliant. Uh, then what you've got is your peonies. Then there is the butterflies. And you're going to get the stars in there. Lots of great concepts you can do with these. Whether you're making concept cards, adding detail into the sides of boxes. There was, there's a craft along for these uh, online, which Craig and myself did. And it was a really lovely long sort of bottle box. And then he cut the panels in uh, and used vellum behind. So great for that. Great for adding detail into the tops of boxes too. Or actually making them uh, and cutting it into your front of your card. Kind of like a, a create card and an edgeable all mixed up into one. The value gets even better if you're a platinum member though, 27 pounds and two pence or 31 dollars 10 cents, uh, which is amazing. Uh, Kaz uh, says, Debbie, my mum still asked me what I want from Santa and I'm 33. I'm 35 and I still, I still get something from Santa. Yeah, yeah. there we are. I tell you uh, why I did do though, Joe, is when I was when I when I when the kids were small and um, I only wrote I only we only did a few presents from Santa, so because I didn't want him to take all the credit. <laughs> Debbie, but Santa's presents come from Santa. You can't be passing Santa's presents <laughs> off as your own presents. <laughs> I, I mean, you think you know someone? You think you know someone? Well, yeah. <laughs> Right, do you know what, Joe? Let's start with the panel let's. dies. Yes, yes let's. let's do these. Well, not start, we've already started. Uh, we're go from the modern peony one. Uh, I love this die, it's really pretty. What I love about the panel dies is uh, you get this centerpiece, so which is like your creator card die. So that cuts the most intricate detail. This one's gorgeous because you've got that lattice uh, detail in between as well. So we're going to cut that into a box lid and then you've got your two sides. So what I am going to do to start with is just cut this die into our box lid and then we're going to cut the whole thing out completely because you have that choice. Now what I've used is the uh, orange sunset from one of our paper pads. Um, my uh, the, the base of my box I've cut by 10 inches by 8 inches and I've scored in at one and a half inches on all round uh, and then for the actual lid I've gone for a 9 inches by 7 inches and I've just scored in at one inch uh, and what it means is it's given me then um, a 7 inch gap between by a five inch I believe yes and that's exactly the same here so if you want a box uh, with a, a bigger base and your lid is smaller at the size you just need to make sure that your in between pieces here are the same same sh uh, same size so I'm going to take that's our box base this is our box lid and we're going to cut this into the front so it doesn't matter where it goes I'm just going to angle it here and I'm going to grab myself if I can find any uh, nope that's fine I will uh, we'll just uh, put it through and uh, if it goes wonky it's fine and if it uh, uh, we do have another one so just going to pop that one in there and then we're going to in fact I'm going to got some ribbon to go at the sides so I'm just going to lean that over a little bit uh, I'm using you can see the uh, Gemini because it's got the A4 plates uh, but these dies will go through your mini your midi and your Gemini junior as well excellent um, Trisha says, I have kids in the room, I need a spoiler alert. There is no spoiler alert. Father Christmas, Santa Claus, uh -huh. Saint Nick, he's alive and well. I get presents from him still every year right now. I mean, the only, the only spoiler alert you'd need is if you were taking Santa's presents that Santa delivered and then passing them off on your own, which is wrong, Debbie. I think you should apologise right now to your well, children. What I, was actually, what I was actually saying was that I, bar, I tried to get more, more gifts than I think Santa's going to get. Right. You're yeah. trying to one-up Santa? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope but, you still um, leave him stuff out, like, you know, uh, you know, oh, a little always. mince pie absolutely. and brandy. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That's um, a good question, actually. See, as we are, you know, in the midst of our festive event, let us know what you leave out for Santa where you are. Because for us, it was always brandy and a mince pie uh, and a carrot for Rudolph. What about you, Debbie? Um, always milk. 
milk. Milk? Always had to leave a glass of milk. Yeah, I've never left anything never else. Never booze? No, never. Ah. No, you can't give... Um, you Father can't give Christmas Santa. was all, always partial to a tipple when he came to ours. He no. always necked... Sometimes he wouldn't eat the mince pie, but he'd always neck the brandy. Always. We would worry. <laughs> we would worry that he wouldn't get round to all the houses if we made him drunk. You can imagine no. how um, tipsy he would have What been. about Johnny? What, what do you guys leave out for Santa in, in your... <laughs> a bottle of Newky, Newcastle Brown Ale, yours likes. Any snacks to go with it? So I put any snacks or just just he likes some mince pie. Fantastic. What does what does he like when it comes to your house, Adam? Mince pies, yeah. cans, yeah, and same. milk. Yeah, I'm okay. On, yeah. Well, I mean, I guess he can't have a brandy Adam. at every house, so I guess it makes sense some of us leaving brandy and some of us don't. Mm. Yeah, let me know what you leave out for Santa. Uh, Crafters TV on Facebook, or Crafters Companion if you're watching us on YouTube. <laughs> and what's your traditions as well, Joe? Because, like, when we were little, we were lucky because um, my dad used to let us, as long as he was able to make a cup of tea first before the doors of the living room opened, right. um, then we could all go in first thing in the morning. No, we would be up at five normally. And, and sometimes he hadn't been, so we had to go back to bed again and wait for him to come again. <laughs> on five o'clock? Yeah, sometimes. I mean, I guess it depends how, depends how many brandies he's had in his round, I guess. <laughs> Slows him down a bit. Apparently, he doesn't get to Darlington until six o'clock in the morning, according to uh, Johnny's dad. No point getting up before six hasn't been. And it shows you how uh, Santa's come on because we never had Santa Cam when I was little, uh, but my granddaughter has Santa Cam. Mm. Um, yeah, and he's always watching through the month of December. Yes. Oh, so he watches you on Santa yes. Cam? Yes. Yeah, yeah, he checks. Only from good. December, I thought, you know, you should probably have the have it up. Johnny <laughs> says Santa Cam's up in their house already. <laughs> because Johnny's saying that Santa's already not coming. <laughs> <laughs> Things that bad, are they, in the Mason household? <laughs> Got six months to turn it around. Okay. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh. That's too funny. They don't work, though, do they? Because children are just mischievous. So you can't, they just, they're never no, going to be. I was an angelic child. <laughs> angelic. <laughs> I was honestly, I was so well behaved. My brother, on the <laughs> other hand, was an absolute horror. He really was. Is that true, though? It is true. My younger brother, yeah. He was a nightmare. <laughs> Right, so you can see what we've done here, Joe. So we've cut the whole thing out. So you've got that beautiful border. Doesn't that peach look lovely on the um, black? Um, and then we've cut out the die inside our box lid. So I'm just going to put on the put, put on the back some dots from our dotty tape pen. So just running that across. Betty says that um, Santa's actually partial to a Diet Coke when he gets to her part <laughs> of the world. Whereabouts are you, Betty? Let me know. I mean, he's probably got a bit of heartburn with what we know. No wonder he's got heartburn, all the Diet Coke and the brandy. That's why he has milk when he gets to you guys. Uh, Lynette says we weren't allowed to open any of our presents till we had breakfast. And then we had to wait for mum to finish the dishes. Whoever turn it was to help, then we could open them together. That's savage. Uh, some people, though, traditionally don't open their presents until after their meal, yeah, as in their, son, know, their, yeah. their Christmas dinner. Yeah, no, oh. I couldn't do that. I don't think I could wait. Uh, imagine how excited. annoying children would be if they had to wait until Christmas dinner <laughs> to open their presents. <laughs> but not if nightmare. that's what they're used to. Sorry? Not if that's what they're used to. Yeah. I suppose it's just what, it's all your traditions, isn't it? Uh, Rachel is a social media superstar for this show. She says her, her mum always insisted on watching her open all of her gifts. Uh, so one year she got up early, opened them all and then rewrapped them all again before her mum got up. So I've done oh. that before. I've Have done, you? Yeah. Reopen them and then rewrap them? Yeah, me and my brother did it. No word of a lie, it's really bad. We never, we, um, we found them and... Um, we decided to have a peep at all of them and every single one uh, we looked at 
and I always remember it. I remember getting up in the morning, we run into my mum and dad's bedroom, and uh, it's like, Santa's been, Santa's been, and my mum just went, well, there's no point in opening them, you know what you got. <laughs> oh. oh, rumbled. Um, yeah, we Stephanie, just wrap them back up very well. Stephanie says, I think your mother had her hands full, Joe. I had my hands full. Well, you wait till you meet my mother. You, you, you congratulate me, not her. Uh, Donna says... <laughs> <laughs> My brother was a nightmare too, Joe. Yeah, I know the feeling. Uh, <laughs> Teresa says, uh, cookies, a glass of milk and carrots for reindeer. Yeah. Uh, for the reindeer there. Um, Lynn says, a glass of milk, a mince pie and a carrot. So, uh, Mary Pat says, Santa always gets a glass of milk and a frosted sugar Christmas cookie or two. Oh, Sounds delicious. Nice. Really, really does. Isn't it strange, um, craft dinners and uh, for Christmas when you do it so early when it is the summer so like you know when we sort of kick off things more it's going to be um, hot and sunny which is very strange. Have you ever been away and had a hot and sunny Christmas anywhere? Um, no I've never been away for Christmas oh, we, we, went, went, we went away once and had a really horrible miserable time and it was freezing cold. Where was this? <laughs> we went to uh, but Butlins. Oh lovely over Christmas what yeah. like Skegness? Uh, I can't remember where it was. Oh, it wasn't, it wasn't Butlins. It was Pontins. Oh, I mean, you could have pushed, <laughs> the, you could have pushed the boat out and at least got to Butlins. <laughs> I mean. And it was freezing cold. The heater had stopped working. No one wanted to get out of bed in the morning. It was awful. Oh. So we always said we'd never, ever go away again. Uh, and funny enough, my mum and dad, uh, a few years ago, um, my mum sort of approached, and we've always had really big family Christmas, she said, I hope you don't mind, but we've booked a cruise to go away for oh, Christmas. Oh, lovely. Uh, and they hated it. They said it was awful. <laughs> <laughs> so they've only done it twice in their lives. And uh, so I was like, didn't you learn the first time not to go away for Christmas? Uh, we went to Dominican Republic one year for Christmas as children, and uh, Santa Claus couldn't find us. Oh, uh, so we because we weren't at home, we were you know we were made very aware before we went that he just wasn't going to be able to find us apparently. Oh, because I was expecting maybe I'd have got home and he might have left them there, but apparently unless he gets a signature, he doesn't leave them these days. A bit like Hermes. <laughs> <laughs> now I bet he just takes a photo and throws it over the fence because that's what they all do these days, isn't it? Oh, contact free delivery. Um, I love that. <laughs> I mean, Father Christmas coming down your chimney is not going to be very COVID safe, I don't think, this year. But anyway, we keep moving as the kids say. Uh, Anne says, we had to wait for my grandmother to come on the train from Long Island. She spent Christmas morning with my auntie's family and then the afternoon with us. We only got to open our stockings and one present each before she arrived. Oh no. Uh, Crafty Vera said my brother's family aren't allowed to open their presents until after the Queen's speech. It's child, <laughs> it's tantamount to child cruelty, she says. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> Maybe we need to do an alternative, the alternative Queen's speech here at Crafters TV this year. I don't mind doing it, I'll give it. Uh, <laughs> Donna said we lived in Guam for two years and it was so bizarre to live on a tropical island during Christmas. Oh, I love yeah. Alaska much better. Always a white Christmas here. Mm. Yeah, a white Christmas would be nice. I wish we had a white Christmas. So, there we go. I've just put a sentiment on. We did this year. We had a white Christmas this year. Oh, we did it? Yeah, we well, did. Well, I didn't. It snowed on Christmas Day in Manchester. Did it? Yeah. It definitely didn't snow in Norfolk. So there we go, our box, with our beautiful die cut in there, and uh, and we've decorated. This is from the farmhouse collection and the papers as well. And there we go. Amazing. Uh, right. Um, let me take you back through exactly what you're getting then there in that collection. Five different ways instantly of using these, which is excellent. Uh, so you've got the flowers. You've also got the peonies. You've got the butterflies in there. And you're going to get the stars as well. Right, I want to give you an opportunity to check your, out your baskets. It's very, very busy already. Uh, whilst you do that, here's all the details of US delivery. pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. 
This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our Gold and Platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. What are you waiting for? Make sure you get yourself signed up for Club Inspire and unlock those deeper discounts. Now, something else I want to share with you. These were an incredible deal. We had them on, uh, I think it was last week or the week before as part of the penny sale. Uh, and they were so incredibly busy that we've bought them back again for you. Now, what it is, it's our alphabets and numbers, our left fold. Now, the numbers on their own, as you can see here, these should be £14.99. Well, £15 is what you're paying for not only these, but also the alphabets as well. They are brilliant. They're really sort of, they're worth 30 pounds, the alphabets, and they're a really brilliant left fold. So it's gonna keep the, the letters or the numbers connected on the left side. And it means that you get this really cool kind of uh, dimensional effect on them. I think they are amazing. And for 15 pounds, uh, they are a st absolute steal. Or $20, 12 pounds or $16 for platinum members, which is amazing. Um, even if you wanted to, cut them right the way out. You can actually, if you're thinking, oh, I'm not sure if I'll use the left fold, take a little craft knife. You can very easily disconnect that left side and use them as a regular numbers or alphabet die. I think if you don't own them, you absolutely need to snap them up at that price. Uh, Lynn says, my boys would wake up Christmas morning, come into our bedroom with their Christmas stocking from Santa, then sit on our bed with us, open their presents. They would then go back to their room and wait for us to get ready. Then we'd all go downstairs together. We'd then have breakfast together before we opened our gifts to each other any presents we had under the tree from other family members would wait and open them in the evening. Wowzers, in the evening. Gosh. Out like that. We're usually drunk and asleep by about seven. I don't know about you, Debbie. <laughs> yeah, us too. I mean, I think like Christmas Day is usually one of the earliest nights I get, I would say, ordinarily. Um, anyway, uh, right, the craft kit. Let me share this with you because this is amazing. This is the most recent uh, in our craft subscription boxes. I know a lot of you in the US will be in the subscription uh, system or service, I should say, and we'll have this already. It'll be bringing its way to you. Here in the UK and in Europe, uh, we don't run the subscription service, but we do still bring you the boxes. So if you want to go for them, you can. $24.99 or $19.99 uh, if you're a platinum member, wherever you're shopping. 50 bonus points on this for you as well. Makes 24 cards. Uh, you've got over 200 elements and there's video tutorials to go with this over on crafterscompanionbox.com as well. So I think these are great, aren't they? Especially maybe if it's something you wouldn't necessarily buy, Debbie, as much as that doesn't really make sense. But maybe pop-out dies, you wouldn't necessarily buy a whole collection. But to get them in here with everything you need and all the tutorials, so much more accessible. Oh, so much so. I love the fact that we do these kits because it lets us be very creative, but it also gives us a complete set uh, of colour coordination, your dyes, your stamps, everything that goes together. It's almost like a little mini Sarah signature in a box, isn't it? Because mm. you get so many different elements. So if we turn this round and we'll have a look um, over here. Uh, and see exactly what you're getting in the box. So as always, you've got Sarah welcoming you. It's 
absolutely packed with beautiful elements. Now, this has been unpacked, but I will just bring you out. We've put them into these envelopes again, uh, so you can reuse these papers as well, which is great. So all your items will come packed into those. So it's almost like an unboxing for Christmas uh, anyway, because each individual item uh, is, uh, is wrapped for you. Uh, inside, you will find two dies. Now, these dies are so pretty. They don't have an outside cutting edge. They just cut all this detail into whatever you're putting in. Now, if you've got nesting dies, circle nesting dies at home, they're going to be perfect for those. Uh, but there's lots of inspiration online. You can go, there's a Facebook page for the uh, boxes as well, uh, which will give you lots of inspiration. And you're getting those two dies to start with. You're then getting a coordinating stamp set for each one. So obviously, this one goes with the fairies. So leave a little sparkle wherever you go. And I believe in you. Thank you very much. You're then getting the gorgeous um, uh, ones that time to celebrate have the happiest birthday. So where you've got the little, um, um, I can't think what, I, what I'm, I want to call him an imp, but it's not an imp, is it? An imp. <laughs> what's an imp? That's a naughty fairy, isn't it? Is an it? Imp. Yeah. What's the mal? Oh, it's just a little boy, isn't it? I think it's not even a fairy, but I was thinking of, uh, yeah, maybe I've got the wrong word. <laughs> So you've got your stamp set, so you're you then getting, there? I, <laughs> yeah, let's just ignore whatever I just said. Um, is it not called an imp? I'm going to have is to Google what an imp is. I'm worried it'll flag is some it, sort of search imp? warning on the work <laughs> Wi-Fi though. I don't know, let me see. <laughs> I absolutely love the colour combination on here. These sort of caramel colours. A small mischievous pills. devil or sprite? Oh, sprite, yeah. What's so a it sprite? is. It's like a fairy, isn't it? Is it? I don't so know. naughty, yeah. So I, I'm so glad I had the right word because knowing me, it would have been something totally different. Uh, but you're getting all of those that then coordinate with all the pearls that you're getting in there as well, which is gorgeous. You're then getting on top of that three different sizes of cards and envelopes. So you've got your four by six, you've got your five by seven cards and envelope, and then you've got your six by six cards and envelopes as well. And then you get all your beautiful papers at the bottom. Now these papers are gorgeous. The colorways in them is so, so lovely. I mean, look how nice that is. You've got all the rabbits on there and the hairs um, with those gorgeous brown jumpers on. Uh, and it just goes through this really lovely color palette almost like a um a prequel to um to autumn coming up but it's got really gorgeous then solid colors going oh, through it you only get these paper designs in this box so if yes. you don't get them in this oh, box yeah, yeah, you will yeah. not get them anywhere else won't bring them as a pad there won't be an extra pack that comes off them everything in the box is exclusive to the box and the other thing as well, Debbie, you know, a lot of these are sort of a feeder into a main collection, aren't they? So there'll be a main collection of this die maybe at some point. What you mm -hmm. won't get, though, are the dies or the stamps that are in here. That's it. If you don't get them in this box, you're not going to get them anywhere. Oh, absolutely. You will not find... And that goes for any of our boxes. You, they, What's in there is only in those boxes. We might do things that are similar. We might do them bigger, but not like this. And you're going to be able to create beautiful cards like this. I absolutely love the fact that you can do your own little spinners with those gorgeous little butterflies. The fairy one is really stunning. It's just a real celebration there with that gorgeous deer inside, or maybe a monk jack. Uh, and then you can either do them just on the front of your card. So being able to do items like this uh, with your a card and making them into a spinning element as well just makes them that little bit more special. And I love that one because it's just been done as a silhouette where the others have been coloured in. And then you've got the gorgeous, what I thought was an imp, but I think... Uh, I think it was just a little boy celebrating a birthday. Um, so it, it does look like um, Christopher Robin, our uh, Adam was just saying. Uh, but yeah, lots of different designs. And you can see those colour tones just work really well together. Those lemons and those blues and those browns. Um, so you're going to be able to create just gorgeous little pop-out cards. Yeah, they're absolutely fantastic. And the value in these boxes is amazing. You know, I think you'd struggle to buy the dies and stamps that are within there for that price. As Sarah always talks about this almost as sort of a marketing exercise because we share with you our collections that we know you're going to absolutely love and come back and buy the whole ones. They are amazing. So many of you own every single one of these boxes for great reason too. Right, let's go and have a little look at some papers. Now, I love these papers. These were originally launched with and alongside the Year of Crafts. So maybe you've been using that a lot and you now want to come up and back and stock up on them. Absolutely, you can. 72 pages here in this one. I love this. There's a couple of my favourite pages in here. 
that one particularly, I think looks absolutely awesome. Would go really well with the builder, builder scenes that we just did, especially the nativity one. And this one as well, it's like, get a little uh, disco going on with that one. Uh, you've got floral elements, um, patterns and checks in there. It's just a really good all-round card pad uh, to have, paper stash to have. 72 in there. That one's 160 GSM. This one's 300 GSM, but we still give you 72 pages, which is almost unheard of. I mean, it's so thick, I can't flick it, this one. Uh, you can see here all of those different colours in there. A really great, vast array for all different uh, occasions in there too. 2080 or 2640, uh, if you want to get your hands on those, and you are a platinum member we are going back to the liftables because they are so so busy uh, you guys love these i'd love to see pictures if you've got these and you've been creating awesome projects with them send them in to me studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk uh, let me run through exactly what you're getting in here the great thing is that they are all disconnected these dies so it means that you can put them in any configuration on your project however you wish you've got your butterflies in here you've got the dragonflies the hearts that's your flowers, then there's the stars, and also the fairies in there as well. Sue Hint says she just ordered that box yesterday. Uh, Will, the crafty crafter, says he loves those papers. They are absolutely uh, beautiful. Any questions or comments that you've got whatsoever, get them into me. Uh, you can get in touch with me over on Facebook, Crafters TV, Crafters Companion. If you're on YouTube, make sure you hit subscribe uh, if you are watching us over there. But going back to the liftables, Debbie, is that right? Yeah, absolutely, Joe. So I'm going to do a card that's a little bit different. I'm going to bring in all my workings out so you can see what I've done. So to start with, let me grab this one. Uh, I've took a A4 piece of card. So we've just got A4. And then what I've done is trimmed it down to 10 and a half inches, which has made this one. The next thing we're going to do is I've measured up four and three quarters of an inch and put just a little dot on the side there. And then what we're going to do is trim this piece off to the next corner and then we're going to score it at three and a half and seven inches so i'm just going to bring in my guillotine so nice and easy pop that in and then from the top corner to where i've put this little dot for the four and three quarters of an inch we're just going to chop that down make sure we've got that position correctly and there we go and then I'm going to bring in my scoreboard and my scoreboard we are going to then pop this to the side and we're going to come in at three and a half inches and oh, find myself, can't find a poke. Oh. Oh, You're there right. it is. I knew I had a poke tool. I couldn't find the, not the poke tool, the score tool. So three and a half inches and we're going to go down there and then we're going to come in at seven inches making sure that's flat at seven inches down there. And that's gonna give us our tri-fold card. So we will fold that and then fold it again. And that gives us our perfect tri-fold. I like this card shape, Debbie. Yeah, it's nice, isn't nice, it? It's yeah. unusual, but it's still a nice uh, one to work with. Yeah, absolutely. So let's pop all these pieces out the way. Uh, and then what I've got, Joe, is I've done some mats and layers. So what I've done is uh, pop these. So I've got some darker cardstock here, and then I've got some blue to put there. So we've got our first one. Then our second one I've got is uh, for the inside. So this one will go inside here. So I've just measured where I need it, uh, and then cut each one down, just cut uh, an increment off of there. And then we've got our final one, which goes at the back. So so it's these front panels we're going to use to put our, in fact I only need to do one because I do have up two already done. Um, so we'll pop that one on and we'll use this front panel. Now I'm going to bring in my dragonflies. Here's um, a question for everyone at home Debbie. Ooh, what yeah. is their favourite card shape or concept? Oh yeah, good idea. Ooh, what's yours? Uh, I sort of switch between them. I quite, I'm really into, which is strange because it is quite a common one. Uh, but I absolutely love an easel card at the moment. An easel card. An easel card. Yes. Johnny, what's your favourite card shape or concept? Z fold. Z -fold. Just a single Z fold or a double Z fold? Oh, double. Uh, Adam, what's your favourite card concept or shape? A gate fold. A man of simple pleasures, Adam. Uh, a gatefold, there you are. Uh, mine's a teepee card, I think. 
A TP no, card. Love a See, TP I love a TP card. card. Yeah. yeah, I think they're awesome. What are your? What's yours at home? Let me know. Uh, Crafters TV on Facebook. Crafters Companion. Uh, if you're across on YouTube. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I go through. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I um, I go through different uh, stages of cards that I uh, that I like. I did make one the other day, Joe, which I haven't done for years, uh, and that's a wiper card. A wiper card. A wiper card. Yes. Wow. So a wiper, a wiper card has it's a Z for it's a, um, a Z fold card, but with as you open it, it it has a pop up element. So they call Ooh. it a wiper card, and we actually made one in the craft along. Oh. Yes, and I hadn't done one for ages. We when had two people crafting along, so that was last week. Was, was that Thursday? Yes. I think it was Thursday that we did it. Yeah, Thursday, I believe at 3 p.m., we did a craft along with a wiper card, and we had two people crafting along, and it was quite nice How did because. It pop up? Um, on the bridge, as you do the, the bridge, bridge. What bit's the bridge? The bridge is the piece that goes across the thin piece, the Z fold of it. Oh, so you on have the, the Z, Z fold, fold yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like a gate fold, and then you have the other bit, don't you? Like the yeah. bridge piece. But your Z fold is the opposite way round. So the fold is on this side. So I think as I'll it have comes to go back out, and watch it. yeah. <laughs> No, it sounds amazing, Debbie. <laughs> it was really clever, and I'd forgotten how easy they were to make. And actually, Jenny was crafting along with us. You remember Jenny with the purple hair? Oh, yes. Lovely so, Jenny in yeah. Ohio. Um, and uh, we had, yeah, we had two uh, crafting along. Um, and yes, and Jenny said she, she didn't realise it was so easy to make. She'd forgotten how easy they were to make. I want to see you make the magic one, you know, that just keeps turning. Oh, and I did say I was going to do that, yes. You did. But, um, I want you to, I want yeah, you to make one. I need to, um, I need to do that, don't I? So, and the reason I didn't, because I couldn't do anything with that that incorporated the bee collection. Right, okay. So I think I've got to do that when it's more just paper crafting, maybe. So what I'm going to do, I've got all my other elements here. So I've, took, I've got my three pieces. Uh, and then all I'm going to do is give these a bit of an inking up. So we're going to use our uh, ocean blue. And I'm going to just pop that onto the edges, just to sort of highlight those. Now you can use any ink pads, even your quick drying ones. I know we've got those on the show. Yes, so I'll take you through um, those in a moment. Does anyone else find that? I mean, I love these, the, like the image of dragonflies. Does anyone find actual dragonflies a little bit scary, though? I tell you what I've been finding scary lately is, do you know how noisy bats are? Bats? Bats. No. Where bats. you got? Where's, where, is it at home you can hear them? Yeah, at home. And for quite a while now, they've just been so noisy, like so, so noisy. Uh, and they make this screeching noise, right. a really high pitched screeching noise. So I thought it was a bird. So um, I'm not going to show you, Adam, no. Go on. <laughs> no, because I, no, I wouldn't be able to do it. Um, and I don't know, I've heard you snore. I, I, <laughs> But it's not the same. It's not the same as a bat screeching, Joe. Honestly, and apparently it's the baby bats that make this screeching noise. Um, because an owl said to me, because I thought it was a bird at night time. He said, "I'm sure it's not." He said, "I bet it's a bat." And we googled it, and apparently bats screech. So you got bats in your back garden? Yeah, we have two oh, all the time nightmare. that are flying around, but they've become really noisy. So I think they've had they've had babies that are noisy. Oh. Yes, baby, baby bats. Baby got bats. Baby got bats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rhonda was your yeah, other guest, today, and she says though. that the wiper card was so much fun. Oh, uh, Rhonda, I'm that joined so you on pleased. the craft along. Yeah, uh, it was there. a great card to do, and it was so effective, uh, but so easy. So we'll have other people now. Tell me that you've got screens. Well, I thought I was, was, I was at the house the other night here in Chilton, and um, uh, just up the road where the where we all stay when we're up here, and I thought someone was trying to break in, Debbie. I oh. could hear, it sounded like someone trying to like bang on something, but also sounded a little bit like fireworks as well. And I was sat on the sofa and I thought, oh, oh. gosh, what is that? So anyway, I finally summoned other courage up after about 25 minutes to go and have a look at <laughs> what was always going on. And uh, it actually turns out that it was raining so hard, the guttering was overflowing. Oh. And 
in front of the front door there's like a metal piece where the, between the door and the like paving slab outside and the rain was landing on the little piece of hollow metal and it made it sound like someone was trying to break in oh i was so scared oh jay i know so i put the chain on and went back to sleep <laughs> oh so you actually got up well yeah i'd gone upstairs i thought if i went upstairs maybe it'd stop <laughs> maybe it'd it didn't <laughs> <laughs> right, so I one don't like more. the dark, you see, Debbie. That's why I don't really like going downstairs. I'm not the bravest. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know that you didn't like the dark. No. Yeah, I don't mind the dark at all. Debbie Robinson doesn't like the dark. She's My, very security um, conscious, our Debbie Robinson. If oh, ever she's she? staying up, she messaged me to see if I'm coming back, and if I'm not coming up, she puts a chain on. Yeah, very security conscious is uh, is Debbie. <laughs> Oh, I'm not. Perhaps I should be. I'm really not, though. Mm -hmm. I leave my front door open, unlocked in my flat the whole time I'm there. When I go to bed <laughs> so at night. I leave anyone it that knows where Joe lives now. What? <laughs> You've just told the, the world. Is, though, I mean, I go to bed with it and people think it's really strange that it's always unlocked. I never lock it. But the thing is, there's like on the on the oh you're street. in a secure so on building, the street there's a a gate that you need to fob through an electric gate so you have to get through that you can't buzz anyone in either so people can't like walk in behind people then when you get to the risk you go through the car park there's like a reception bit there's another electric gate and then the other side of the post box is before you get into the atrium there's another electric gate so it's like three electric gates i think gosh if, if you can get through three electric gates you're welcome to it that's what i think but do you know what, Joe? You know, there's nothing to stop a, a mass murderer like moving in next door and being your neighbour, is there? Yeah, I guess. They've got so. to be someone's neighbour. I mean, <laughs> if you've gone through that much effort to get into my flat, that you're going to move in next door. I mean, I think I'd be flattered more than anything. Um, loads of people talking about their. Um, we're going to get ourselves in trouble tonight. I can feel it. We're just, just on the cusp of being too much. Uh, and says uh, pop up boxes are her favourite Laura Simmons says my favourite is the money holder ones the money holder ones Debbie sorry the money holder cards uh, money ho yes that's the ones that um, that open and they've got like a middle bit that hold hold your c cards isn't it Mm. The gift voucher card, oh, okay. that's what I'm thinking of. Or the other way is, is where you have you open it and you've got little tabs at the side that your money slides oh, into. Oh, fabulous. Uh, no one ever sends me those ones. Uh, <laughs> Evelyn says uh, Z Fold, she loves doing. Rhonda loves a box. Carrie's got two favourites, the pop out and the twisted easel. Twisted easel, that's a good one. Uh, Val Lloyd says she loves the everlasting card. Is that the magic one I was on yes, about, Debbie, that yeah, just keeps going? I still can't yeah. get my head around how that works. It's very clever and actually quite simple. It's really? just a case of sticking it in the right place. Always. Uh, Sue says, love what Debbie is doing with this inking. Um, uh, love these liftables. <laughs> Sage advice there. Uh, this is <laughs> 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 Ooh, Sue says, love what Debbie is doing with this inking. Uh, Susie T says, I love the liftable dies. I made light up boxes. I will send you in a picture. I'd like that. Um, will Jewett says, Dave thinks Joe and Debbie are nutty. He just put your ear, <laughs> he said, just put your earphones in. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not want to hear us no. anymore? <laughs> Susie T sent us in some. Uh, she sent us in some pictures. We'll get those shown, Susie. <laughs> Put your headphones in. I'm sick of listening to them. We have really, I mean, question You're time's on got it nothing. Tonight, Joe. You question are time's on got it. nothing. I don't know what kind of mood I'm in, Debbie. To be honest, it's a strange one, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It certainly is. So we're getting there, Joe. Our last panel here. But just remember, with these types of cards, as you can see, you need one on the back of there. So don't hold your card out and then put them on, because then when you fold it up, uh, this one will be blank and your other one will be on the inside. Oh, we don't want that. We definitely don't want that, no. So all I'm going to do now is... Oh, we're still sticking this one. Stick this one on. Yeah, I love dragonflies. I don't think there's anything scary about dragonflies. I think it's the way they fly pretty. in weird. They fly in straight lines yeah, very strangely. Yeah, they do, yeah. 
there's something a little bit like not kooky no not even kooky there's something a bit alien about them i think because of oh. the whole straight line flying thing <laughs> yeah so just finishing off now and then i've just got some little embellishments to uh to finish the card nona uh says she's bought two of the liftables they are gorgeous nona's in whitby i think i might go to whitby for fish and chips on sunday you know oh very yeah. nice i mean i do have a feeling the traffic could be horrendous though yeah i thought to myself i might drive to sands end i thought i might drive to sands end johnny and then walk to whitby and walk back and it won't be as bad it's an hour's walk from sands end they shut the main road if it's full can't get in oh there it is <sighs> nightmare apparently i'll go the coast road johnny it'll be fine do you know what i thought was good um here um at the sorry losing my words the um the seaside here the um sea see them um, see them's gorgeous yeah. and it's all free parking all free parking all and free a parking. very very good fish and chip shop in see as well wow. go and get fish and chips sit on the green i was so impressed uh, there's a there's a there's an ice cream shop called lickety split which is also very very good highly recommend it if you're in that part of the world just if you do go to see for an ice cream and fish and chips remember to play the tyne tunnel both ways because that's what I didn't do, and I got a 75, 70 pound fine each way, Debbie, in the end. It was oh. a very, very expensive fish and chips and ice cream one afternoon. Oh dear, yeah, that's not good. Don't do that. I it's did that once when I went to Cambridge. Where did you go? To, what, what, what pay road do you have to go on to Cambridge? I went to Cambridge, and I thought that I had to take a left, but I turned into the lane before oh, I should have done. No. So I got done by using for using a bus lane, and, um, and then when I got back to the car, I got a parking ticket because oh, no. I'd gone over my time as well. Oh, so it gosh. was a very expensive time. In it's uh, a very Cambridge. hard city to navigate, Cambridge. Ah, oh, I don't like driving. Very hard. I used to live there for a little while. Yeah, I don't like driving. Linda would like to know when the next craft along is. Now I know there's definitely one on Saturday. Today. Uh, is that the next one, Johnny? Oh, this one tomorrow with you, Debbie. No. No, no, no. Oh, God. I was thinking, don't tell me that. I've not got nothing planned. <laughs> oh, Johnny. Saturday is the next one. Myself Saturday, and Craig. Uh, and it's going to be floral spray. So it's the floral spray stamp and dies. Pam and Lisa. Do we know which Pam it is? Pam Evans and Lisa. Lisa Turner. Well, I look forward to meeting them both on Saturday. That'll be awesome. It's going to be a great day on Saturday, actually. And we're going for an ice cream between shows, Debbie. I mean, what could be better? Yeah, even um, even amazing. I mean, ice cream. Yeah, we had ice cream. We might have gone to that same shop. So I had um, strawberry and banana ice cream. Strawberry and banana. You like a banana flavoured thing, I don't do you? I do like banana flavoured yeah. thing, yes. yes. Uh, that card is absolutely <laughs> beautiful, Debbie. Uh, really, really lovely. Uh, and, and one of so many different ways that you can use these. Uh, let me go through exactly what you are uh, going to get in here. So you're going to get the butterflies. You can use all of these in the same way. They're all totally disconnected as well. So play around with that. You put these together. You've got the dragonflies in here, the hearts. There's the flowers, the stars. And you're also going to get those fairies in there as well. So make sure you grab all of those ink pads. All right, two different collections for you. Here's the first one. They are all quick dries. So you, in this one, you've got the Oasis, the Parakeet, the Green Topaz, and the Anthracite in that one just there. So that's the first option for you. Uh, or you can go for this option, which is the Chinese Red. You've got the uh, Pale Fig, the Bordeaux and the pink tulip in there as well so they are the different options for you 15.96 or 22.24 uh hero tool where did i put it it's down here let me just grab this for you now uh this is brilliant because the bag itself is rather fabulous and definitely uh worth the money on its own so the bag itself uh, is brilliant because it's a really good size really good size if you were because i know we do the portable tote right debbie but the thing is with them once they're full they can become a little bit 
importable if you feel it like Debbie does hers was it your portable tote that went over the other day Debbie uh, yeah so well, this might be a great <laughs> sort of like second bag like a smaller bag a project bag so if you're just working on a couple of bits mm. you can put those in there it's actually designed for your Gemini go it'll fit your Gemini junior in there if you want to as well uh, you've got six pockets in total on the outside two pockets on the inside beautiful qualities you'd expect like all of our storage uh, and carry bags are but then we're going to give you loads of uh, awesome stuff included for free so you get a tape pen not paying for that you're going to get the die brush tool you're not paying for that the bone folders you're not paying for those and we're going to give you a metal edge ruler as well and guess what you're not paying for that either that's why it's the hero tool however the hero tool only lasts for 24 hours so if you want it you will need to be quick for that particular one just there oh i did i, I short changed you you get a blending tool as well how could i uh, let's pop that back in there right very very busy uh, i want to just quickly share with you all the details on how you can watch and shop take a look Hi, I'm Sarah from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can get the best deals and shop while you watch during our shows. The best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. So head over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV home where you can see all of our shows plus exclusive offers and even shop while you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, you can head on over to our community pages. Come say hello, ask us some questions and chat along live with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay our shows direct onto your big screen or stream us live through YouTube. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule. So don't forget to check in. It's never been easy to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Welcome to Club Inspire, the Crafters Companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Well, Whitby's definitely out off the cards for Sunday, Debbie, because uh, Nona's come back. And she says it really, all in capitals as well, so it must be really bad. She says it really is a nightmare, Joe, and the swing bridge is closed to traffic every weekend and bank holiday. Well, if the swing bridge is closed, what's the point, eh? Uh, Rose says, I love this car. Dragonflies are so much fun, especially when you're fishing and they land on the end of your pole. I don't think I've ever seen a dragonfly land on the end of a pole. No, no fishermen amongst us, Adam? You strike me as someone that would be into fishing. No? Adam throws axes. <laughs> no, Adam, I said. Yeah. Adam, I'd imagine Adam would be into fishing, no? Adam, Adam throws axes. He's not going to throw a rod, is he? <laughs> I mean, surely it's all, you know, it's all in the, all in the movement, isn't it? Uh, it's been a while. Johnny, I bet, you know what? Johnny strikes me as a, fish, a fishing type. David, our social media manager, he's the man for the fishing, is he? There you go. I'll ask him if he's ever had a uh, dragonfly land on the end of his rod. Right. What was next? I can't remember. Decorative panel dies. Here we go. Uh, right. Uh, so uh, four options for you here. Loads of different ways of using these, which is great. And you know what these give you, Debbie? At, at, aptitude. <laughs> <laughs> what is... Johnny, can you Google it? What does aptitude mean? <laughs> Let's just wait a minute, because I feel like this is going to be a corker. <laughs> A-P-T-I-T-U-D-E, aptitude. I've heard the word. I think it's going to be something hilarious. 
a natural <laughs> ability to do something. Well, there you apparently. go. See, that's what they make. I guess you. they do. Yeah, uh, I was going aptitude. for I was going for opportunity, but we'll go with that. And <laughs> uh, you've got. Uh, <laughs> Four different styles in here. So you've got the flowers, you've got the peonies, uh, you've also got the schmetterlings in there, those butterflies, uh, and you've also got the stars in there too, which is awesome. Twenty-seven pounds and two pence, or thirty-one dollars ten cents, if you are a Club Inspire Platinum member. Um, Will says, right, that's it. I went for the tote. I need something to put my midi and other bits in. I wonder if it will fit a bag of sweets in too. I reckon like a big, like a share bag. I reckon it will. Do you know what makes me laugh the other day? I picked up some sweets, Debbie, and um, now they put like the thing on the top so you can reseal it. You know, like a bag of sweets about this size. They have a thing on now so you can reseal it back up and put it in the cupboard. Oh. Who has ever opened the, like a bag of minstrels, <laughs> <Left> them. <laughs> ate half of them, and then closed it up and put it back in the cupboard for another day? I don't know who these people are. I, I don't... Adam's done that. It doesn't surprise me. It really doesn't. Uh, right. Um, decorative panel border dies then, Debbie. Uh, yes. Yeah, so let's go to the delicate daisies. <laughs> oh, Joe, you're making me laugh today. <laughs> Uh, yeah, delicate daisies, gorgeous one. Again, so we've gone back to the panel dies. Uh, again, you're getting that gorgeous design in there. Now, on this one, it cuts in, and then you've got your two outside edges. So you just decide which way round you want your die to go. So I'm going to go with my biggest flower at the bottom here. Uh, and then what I want to do is cut it over the top. So I'm going to use the one that will go around, there we go, on there, and just use it at the top. So now what you could do is score a little line each side so you can see um, where it goes. Uh, but actually I'm not too worried. I'm just going to line it up to my glass mat. So making sure that it's straight. And actually I think that's about right. So we're lining it up to our equal sides. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of tape down to keep it in place. So popping that one on. And then on the other side, just so that doesn't shift. Uh, you can do them separately if you want, Joe. So if you want to do your outline one first and then the other one. Now, this die here, let's bring this out the way. Uh, I want to do some matte and layering across the bottom as well. So I want to, um, first of all, pop this one on. And we want to go underneath. But first of all, because this is the die that will go underneath, I can do my mats and layers. I'm going to do that on my uh, piece of card here. And then I can mat and layer that on the top and then have a guideline of where it's going to go. Awesome. So let's give those a cut. Now because I'm using my um, Gemini, I can use my big plates and make sure that we cut both of these at the same time. So another piece of tape just to keep this one in place. I'm going to just go to the edges uh, and then tape that down and run that through. I've been having a lot of texts from Debbie Robinson uh, this week, Debbie. Oh, have you? Yeah, she's finally, I've managed to talk her into getting an Apple Watch at long oh, last. Oh, see, she's that's mine. One. Trouble is, I've got so much coming up, so, and I just really don't want to spend She's that, gone, she's really become, she that. has become obsessed with closing her rings, she messaged me last night to say. Uh, so, yeah, she's out there, she's getting active. Uh, she paid for something on it the other day. Honestly, you feel like a Jedi when you pay for it. <laughs> I go to, I pop up to Christina in the canteen. I'm like, black coffee, please, Christina. Boop, done. I do that on my yeah. phone. <laughs> and then like, off you go. I can pay on the vending machine yeah. with this. Yep. Double click, boop, whisper gold. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you need to get one. You need one in your life, Debbie. I know, and I know I do. It's just that... Do you know, you get to the stage, you can think, I've got just so much, like we're having a loft conversion and lots of, lots of pennies being spent at the moment, so... Um... Just put it on your uh, phone contract, that's what I did. You don't miss it then. <laughs> it's fine, honestly. It takes you 26 years to pay for it, but it doesn't matter. Put it on your American Express, get your uh, points at least when you fly in. <laughs> what's that? I said, just put it on your American Express, you get your points for Oh, absolutely, but that's what it's all about, isn't it? You know, you know what points make? Prizes. Uh, Will says, Joe, I would put a share bag into the bag, but in my world, share bags are big enough for just one person. Absolutely. Uh, I'm no one's yet, I, I agree with you there, Will, 100%. 
Okay, so we've done our piece here. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to bring in, let's just bring this back in uh, and pop this onto play. So that's going to fit into here. And then we're going to pop that on. And I'm actually going to glue this into place because I'm using paper from the farmhouse uh, paper pad. Uh, it really won't interfere with being able to cut down um, into the card to get the other border. So just popping that along there. Oh, and there we go. And then I'm going to pop this down here. So. There what is your go. favourite? I tell you what, I'm really, I'm really nosy tonight, aren't I? I want to know. Tonight, I'd like to know what your favourite chocolate bar is, or like, you know, favourite oh, chocolate a option. One. Difficult one. Mine. I let you have two because I think you know we should all. We all need two. Uh, mine would be a dime bar, or uh, a Cadbury's caramel. Oh, you know neither that? of them would I choose. None of those. No. What about you, Adam? A chocolate e what? E e e e e a chocolate e aero. E e e okay, <laughs> I think that a, an aero, chocolate aero or a Yorkie, Johnny. A, a, a Yorkie or a Terry's chocolate orange. Oh, that's too many to choose. I love chocolate. Right, you're going I into the garage. You're in the you, you're in the shop. You you decide last minute you're going to get one bar of chocolate. You're in the car. You're driving somewhere. What chocolate do you put your hand on? Uh, yeah, so a bag of Maltesers. Bag of Maltesers. Not and, easy to eat on the go, though. And, and a whisk. Oh, you say that, though, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so, so the other week, I was, we had like, <laughs> I went out with my girlfriends. <laughs> And we'd bought well, a bag. Is this a story we'd involving a, a bag of Maltesers? Yeah, so we bought a bag of Maltesers and I was trying to be really good, so I didn't have any. And then in the morning, because I stayed at my friend's house, and then in the morning, she'd pack my bag up for me with all my bits, because I took my own cereal and stuff there. So, um, and then when I got in the car, she'd put half of this bag. It was one of those big bags of Maltesers. And there was about, well, only about a quarter left. Um, but I didn't realise until the end of the day I'd come up to Durham and they'd literally melted. Oh no. And I literally peeled back <laughs> the wrapper and I was eating. Oh, oh Debbie! They were delicious. The chocolate had all melted. Warm, the wet cone. Maltesers. Oh, uh. they were so good. Oh, were let really me know. Good. And I wish the whole bag had been there then. <laughs> Do you know who's watching you with it? You know when you're going through this? Have a guess who's watching? <laughs> Alistair Viles just let me know that a Twix and a Star Bar uh, is his favourite. I bet you're seeing it in a different night light well, now, I aren't you, Al? That. Star Bar? Star Twix. Bar, I know. Al, what is on. it? What is it? The 1970s, Al? <laughs> uh, Gilmore says... The 1980s uh, in his yeah. case. Gilmore <laughs> says uh, Bounty and Aeros are their favourites. Will says Crunchy Bars and Dairy Milk Bars, especially the Dairy Milk Bars with a popping cap. Candy inside. I haven't had those. Let me know what your favourites are. Uh, Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafter Companion, uh, <laughs> if you are across on YouTube. <laughs> He's watching all the time now, there's no football, I reckon. <laughs> oh dear. I didn't know that though, it's quite interesting. What, a star bar? Star bar? I don't mm. even know what a star bar is. What's a star bar? I'm going to Google it for you, Debbie. I feel like. I, mean, you I know. know what a Twix is. But... I, you know what it, what it is with me though. I have different ways of eating different chocolate. Right. So I don't want to like go into it. But <laughs> I don't think you've got the option now to not. I feel like you can't. You cannot throw that kind of information out there and then say I don't want to get into it. That's not what you do. But you don't, I, I, That's like saying to someone I've got a really good secret I really want to tell you, but I just can't. <laughs> so I just, I, no, no, I can't. Uh, so most, most chocolate bars, and I, I don't do it in public, only when I'm on my <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay, let's go, let's, uh, let's see where this is going. <laughs> what do you do to your chocolate bars when you're not in public? Well, it depends what, <laughs> what it is I'm eating. Well, so there's obviously some specific ones in, in mind here. Yeah, there is, yeah. So, like, if I was to eat a Mars bar... <laughs> Yeah, Mars bar. <laughs> well, I would eat. I would eat all the nugget bit off the bottom. <laughs> so, 
Right. <laughs> and then I would scrape the toffee off. <laughs> right. Well, surely it doesn't leave anything behind then. Yeah, then the chocolate on the top. Oh. And the I Twix, think... I eat one finger by taking the toffee off and chocolate, suck the biscuit, suck all the chocolate off, and then the other one, I do it the other way around. I take all the... <laughs> I take all the biscuit and then roll up my toffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, Debbie. Oh, does Al know about this? He said, and this is why I send her to Durham, is what he put in the comments. <laughs> True story. Oh, I mean, and we thought we were onto. We thought we were in hot water when it comes to Cadbury's cream eggs. <laughs> and I didn't ask you how you eat your Cadbury's cream. No, I didn't. This is a this no, is a I'm PG rated show. No, yeah, we won't. We won't go there. <laughs> Star Bar is a delicious Cadbury milk chocolate surrounding a chewy cosmos of golden caramel and a blast of peanut that's out of this world, <laughs> according that, to the is description. That house interpretation? <laughs> no, that's according to the Cadbury's. That's the Cadbury's website that's provided that information for me. Oh dear. Beth's a biscuit sucker too, apparently. They are. See, it's yeah. a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, I've had it ever since I was a child. Uh, I always remember my mum buying me my first Whisper bar, and I literally sucked it to death. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 I've just got visions of you just everywhere. Oh dear, oh, dear gosh. me. Ah, oh, welcome to Crafter TV if you've just joined us. Uh, we're all sharing our favourite chocolate bars in the comments. We're having a lovely time. Uh, Joanne says she loves a Cadbury Crunchy Bar or a plain Hershey chocolate bar. Uh, Laura says Milky Way Simply Caramel or Salted Caramel or Junior Mints or York Peppermint Patty. Oh, that sounds York very classy. York Peppermint Patty. York, not pate, no. <laughs> but not like, you know, not like you have on toast. Patty, P-A-T-T-Y. Patty. Yeah, a peppermint patty. I imagine it's like a slab of peppermint. <laughs> Brent has just uh, WhatsApped me because he can't like <laughs> separately to the socials because he can't believe she just, he says, I can't believe she just said that about a whisper bar. <laughs> me neither. Brent, you don't have to share, you don't have to, you don't have to sleep in the same house as her. So, you know. <laughs> Who is snorting? That's me, Diane. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh. She said sucked it to death is yes. what she said. <laughs> yeah, that is what she said. Gonna get you a t-shirt with that on. Try it. Don't laugh before you try it. <laughs> Don't knock it till you've tried it. Yes. Wow, okay. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be serious and full laughing Are you not doing me. a very good job? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you must have, Joe, tried like, you must have had a chocolate bar differently instead of just munched it. No. I just put it in my mouth and chew it normally. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure I'm not the only one. Please well, I let mean. me know, yeah, that I'm not. Not the Beth's a biscuit one. sucker, that's as far as we got. Anyone else, any advance on that? I mean, if you want to just make um, Debbie feel a bit better about herself. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mind because I, I'm quite happy to be individual. <laughs> unique, Debbie, very unique. Unique. <laughs> so I can't see, so I'm putting these all back in the wrong place. <laughs> My you can't see most of the time anyway about yeah, your glasses on. <laughs> So true, Joe. So don't blame this on, you know, the whisper bar. This is not the whisper bar issue. This is just a day-to-day -day issue, Debbie. <laughs> you will all be glad to know I do have a couple of days off. Uh, oh, you won't dear. have to put up with me for the next couple of days. Ben will be here. Uh, you'll be glad of a rest. But I do warn you, I'm back for six days on Saturday. So I, I hope I'm in a less sassy mood by then. Oh, dear. 
Well, it'll be one or the other for you, Joe. <laughs> What? Well, you'll be sassy or the opposite. Oh, the opposite yeah. Of sassy. Sassy. I thought we were still talking about chocolate bars, weren't we? Um, <laughs> sassy so, or sulky? Just, I don't know. I've just paper pieced, not very well, <laughs> the middle's back in. Um, and then we got, they are, see, they're all letting us know their secrets now. They all do it. It's not just me. Not on my own. Oh, I do that. I so, do that with smarties. It, so, 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 Johnny just said, <laughs> for those of you that didn't hear the conversation, only got, you know, for those of you that aren't living in uh, Debbie's brain, Johnny just said, Susie T eats the M&Ms by their colours. Yeah, I used to do that. My mum used to buy us a tube of smarties and we used to sort colour codes and then you'd eat the ones that, that you didn't like the colours. That does not sound very COVID friendly. Just have to check from the tube these days. <laughs> no, it's very true. <laughs> As smart as I eat differently as well, I like to chew the shell off. <laughs> Nibble the shells off. It does take me ages. If you're going to have a chocolate bar, you might as well have it, le you know, the time to enjoy it. <laughs> there we go. So there oh, we go. A bit beautiful of card. I mean, I, yeah. I, you know, I'm always blown away, Debbie, that you're able to laugh that much and cause that much chaos, but still and make still a beautiful make project a as well. Card. There we go. See? Multitasking. That's me. <laughs> that is you indeed. All oh, while sucking on a whisper bar. Right. Uh, let me remind you what is coming up tomorrow here on Crafts TV. We've got another amazing day planned for you. Uh, wake up call with Craig and Ben is back in the building. Uh, they are going to be looking ahead to a fantastic cartload that's happening tomorrow evening with Debbie uh, and Ben. Uh, there's Lucky Dips on there. There's a whole host of other uh, amazing things there too. And loads of best ever pricing on that show for you. So don't miss that. And then at 3 p.m. tomorrow uh, here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern time, there's a flower forming masterclass with Debbie. That will be absolutely awesome. And Ben will be here uh, for that as well um carrie says you guys are making me feel like this wednesday is a friday thank you so much we're happy to be of service for you joanne says joe what time does the three hour extravaganza start on sunday it starts at 7 p.m uk time 2 p.m east coast time 11 a.m west coast time so there you go i've got myself a new shirt let's hope it turns up let's hope it fits um, you know what it's like though when you buy things on the internet clothing wise especially when you maybe buy more novelty items let's say Debbie you know you order a double XL and it can turn up like the size of a sort of Cindy or Barbie doll or it can be like a four man tent there's never any sort of in between is there so let's let's fingers crossed it fits um, Johnny bought an all in one Superman costume apparently it was very very tight you could see what it had for breakfast apparently uh, right let's move on i want to share with you these incredible left fold numbers and alphabets uh here that we've got so you've got <laughs> right come on guys let's just take a moment let's just just take it down a peg or two because we've still got 33 minutes left and we could be in a lot of trouble we can get ourselves in a lot of trouble in 33 minutes I'm not going to tell that story. Right, anyway, so what you've got in here is the numbers. Now, the numbers should be £14.99 on their own. Uh, however, for one penny more, what you're going to get is you're going to get the whole alphabet. Now, the great thing is, these are worth £30. The great thing is that they are the left fold. So they really do give you a sort of different look and feel to a regular alphabet. The thing I love about them is take a craft knife, cut down the left side, then you've got a regular alphabet. You're going to be able to have them uh, so they come all the way out, which is fantastic. So it's completely up to you. Uh, how you want to use these and how you want to put them together which is awesome so you've got your alphabets and you get the numbers there as well uh, as you can see and the ampers and is in there for you too which is brilliant 15 pounds or 20 dollars i mean we may be may as well give them away at the platinum price 12 pounds or 16 dollars is the price there on those ones right we're going to go back to the craft kit it is the pop out scenes that you are looking at here with this one it's box number 38 as well. i know a lot of you out there have all of the boxes so uh, if you are collecting them this is number 38 uh, that you've got here in this particular one over 200 elements in here makes a minimum of 24 cards and um, within here you've got metal dies clear stamps uh, card blanks envelopes ribbons uh, card packs printed papers and pearls as well so a really awesome box this one great for anyone starting out their crafting journey as well deb isn't it because full vid video tutorials for this so you know you've got things that are going to work together mm -hmm. and go together you haven't got to really do any thinking about it it's all there for you mm. it's the great thing with the boxes uh, whatever one that you go for you uh, 
can guarantee that everything in it is going to uh, match with everything else. Uh, these are great. It's a great library to have on your bookshelves. So you can literally stack these right up. I mean, we're now on. So just in case anyone wants to know, we're now on box 38. Uh, so our US uh, viewers, you will be uh, probably in the subscription. But we do do these boxes to sell. So even if you just want to start now, you're not missing out because they will still stack beautifully. All the boxes are the same. Uh, you'll be able to, they'll be your go-to boxes when you want to create something. This one is gorgeous. So if we look inside, we're getting the two pop-out elements. Now, even though we say pop-out, it just means you can make pop-out cards with them. But actually, you can design so many different things with this in. Uh, if you've got your normal circle nesting dies, you could make some lovely rocker cards. Uh, you can use them on the fronts of your cards. You don't have to ne necessarily use them as pop-outs. So you're getting two of those dies and you're getting coordinating stamps to go with them. So your birthday one and then your fairy one as well. You're then getting this gorgeous set of ribbons. I absolutely adore the colour tone on here. You've got that gorgeous caramel, those dark teals, those lemons. They just work really well together. And then you're getting your matching pearls on top of that. You're then getting your card blanks and matching envelopes, which is really important that you get all those cards plus the envelopes that you haven't got to worry about. You're getting them in a six by six, in a five by seven cards and envelopes, and in your uh, A6 size, so your six by four as well. <clears throat> and then on top of that, Joe, we can't do anything without our beautiful papers. These are gorgeous. So just flicking through, you can see we've got those really beautiful pattern papers. The colour tones in these are just beautiful uh, with those lime greens, those lemons, those sort of caramel colours. Uh, and then we've got those block tones, which are double sided. So you're getting the caramels again. Those really, this is a beautiful colour. It's almost like, um, like a really muted, um, like sage green. It's gorgeous. It looks um, very cream on yes, the Yes, uh, but it's not it's actually. It really isn't. I it's can see from green, here. Yeah, it's green. It's such a lovely colour. And then you're getting those really deep teal colours along with those gorgeous caramels and then into your lemons. So really beautiful colourways in there. So what we're going to do to start off with, we're going to take one of our card blanks. So I'm going to take the A6 ones, take this one out of here, and then I'm going to bring in my scoreboard. Um, because what we need to do is just score in half to create our pop out. Out. Now, you'll need two of these to create your actual pop-out design. One card will actually, uh, one card you'll cut into and then will go inside your, your card. Uh, Are they the same them. size or are they cut <coughs> slightly differently sizes, Debbie? No, exactly the same. Same size? Yeah, same size. So I'm just going to grab my scoring tool. I keep putting it down somewhere safe and then losing where I've put it. No, it doesn't. No doesn't matter I'm going to use the back of my quilling tool uh, so I know that these are eight inches so I'm going to score in at two inches and then our middle fold line is four and then I'm going to score in again at six inches because I know that's then two inches in as well so that will create my pop out element so let's move this to the side we're going to then fold this piece in the center so just making sure I've got those score lines in the right place and then we're going to fold these back on themselves <clears throat> and you get that perfect sort of score in the sides and I would do this and make sure you've got your lines burnished before you do your actual pop out so your pop out is this piece here as it states it's popping out of the card so when your cards open and shut let's bring this one in you attach these two pieces together and then when they close it will all close inside your card so what we're going to do is take one of our dies, so I'm going to take that beautiful fairy one, place that inside, so I'm just making sure my grass is there, so my fairy is going to be on each side, and then we're going to just take that down and give that a cut. So nice and simple. And like I say, you don't have to put it onto a, a card, you, uh, onto the middle of the card and have it pop out. You can just use it as a regular die and cut it into a card and just use it as a creator card die because that's what they're, they're really uh, designed for as well. If you wanted to cut it out, could you cut around, could you leave it in and cut around it with a knife, Debbie? Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's a brilliant, um, uh, because actually, Joe, and I'm going to show you, so I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, the great thing about this 
is uh, if you want to, let's say I wanted to put cardstock around that um, and I want to get the perfect um, design, let's bring in one of those papers. I'm just going to look in here and just grab a paper. So let's have that gorgeous one. So what I would do is, um, I'm going to do it down here so we don't waste too much of the paper because I can sort of use that. Uh, what I would do is use your craft knife and I would leave your die in place, Joe. And what I would do is go round because what you're doing is cutting metal to metal. Okay. So if you just use it, now the, the thing with this, you do need to make sure that your knife is sharp. So I'm just going to go round again just to make sure that's cutting in. And we're just going to go round and then I'm going to rotate my whole page and we're just going to follow that round. And because I'm following a metal die, it's a bit like our ruler that's got that metal edge on it. But this time we've got the, uh, the actual die that we're using as our metal. And we're just going round and getting to where we started. I think that's my final piece there. Oh, just come away too early, look. So let's pop that back there. So to make sure we've got that into place. There we go. And that will take out and give you that perfect matte and layering. So if we was to put this over the top, it would give you that gorgeous design around the edges. That's so a really it. nice way, move that over so we can, oh, it's white, isn't it? That didn't do any good. <laughs> Let's bring it on there. There we go. So you can see you get that perfect edge all the way around for your die. Brilliant. Right, so now we've got that uh, central piece, uh, we've got our inside pop out. What you're then going to do is colour this in. So if I bring in my piece here that's already been done, we've then got our colouring part and I've just literally used my tri-blend markers to colour that in on there. Uh, then we're going to bring in our next card that we had for that front piece which is going to go on the inside and we're just going to decorate those with some pieces out of here. So my first bit I want to put on the inside of my card here so I'm going to use um, I'm going to use my wet glue actually for that so it gives it a bit of wiggle room so just take my tacky glue and use that for the inside so I'm not putting too much on we just want that to stick on the inside but I want to make sure that we get that wiggle room on there and then place that into the center and then I'm going to fold that down and open and I'm going to keep doing that until we get our card and it will just make sure that it's giving us that movability. There we go. So once we've got there, I've then got my panels to go on the side here. So it's just a case of cutting out lots of these, Joe, were just scraps of paper where I've been using it on other projects. And then you just use all your scrap pieces for your side panels uh, and the inside of your card. You never have to um, completely cover anything. And that's what I love about these kits. You can use all the elements inside. So pop in that in. And then our next side piece. And because all of your papers coordinate, you know that they're all going to go together beautifully. So our last piece on the side there. It looks beautiful. And I mean, again, you've got full video tutorials on this as well over on uh, crafterscompanionbox.com. If you're unsure whether they're going to be tutorials that you think, or videos or projects you think that you're going to want to have a look at, you don't need to buy the box to go and have a look at the tutorial website. Pop yourself over there, uh, crafterscompanionbox.com. Have a look at the tutorials and, and see what you make of it. I think you'll love it. I mean, I think even as a stash builder, just to get the envelopes, the car blanks, the papers, uh, the pattern papers, uh, and all the gems and ribbons, you'd spend more than that to go out and buy those elements alone. So as a stash builder, they're fantastic. But obviously, if you're putting them together as intended, you're gonna make at least 24 cards, then you've got all of that hardware as well that you've got, that you're gonna keep forever. You know, stamps and dies, as long as you look after them, Debbie, they're gonna last your lifetime, aren't they? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there's no question about that, Joe. Uh, they will last you. They're it's very hard to sort of damage your dies um, and the only thing I would uh, say is like when you uh, like a set of papers uh, it's nice to be able to um, to get them 
uh, and, uh, and put them into your box so you can keep replenishing with different papers that you like. Uh, the woodland scene, for instance, would go beautiful with this, the sort of colour tones in there. So just popping that all into place and then I can just fold that one on top and know that that's securely in place. And then inside you're also getting all those little butterflies as well. So I've got just some little butterflies which you can use on the inside and as a spinny top. But what I'm going to do is just bring in my finished card so you can see on the inside there we've put all our sentiments down. We've got our little spinny butterfly in the centre and then we've just used magical times are ahead and just made our really cute little card there. Really gorgeous and one of so many different ways you can take this. Remember you'll only get the, the cardstocks, the pattern papers, uh, all of that in each box and also the dies and the stamps are exclusive to each particular box as well. Uh, do you want to get ready for card of the show, of the show, of the show mm -hmm. Debbie? Amazing. Card of the show, of the show. Uh, card of the show, of the show, of the show. Should we have a look at the pictures? Uh, Karis has sent this one. Uh, into us. I love this, Debbie. How adorable is oh, that? Oh, isn't that pretty? So well, cute. whoever Amy is, she is going to absolutely love that car. My granddaughters would love that. Beautiful. Susie T did this next one. Uh, this is beautiful. I love that box, Susie, that you've oh, done there. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. And she did another one with the beautiful Schmetterlings in there as well. Uh, yes, just one of so many different things that you can do with those liftables. Right, whilst Debbie's getting ready for uh, the card of the show, I want to share with you all the details of this week's Get It, Got It Good. Ooh, yeah. Uh, this week's Get It, Got It Good is the Gemini MIDI, plus 100 bonus points. Now, this machine is awesome. It is a manual machine, but it is so mighty. Uh, no sandwich combination to worry about. It's a folder-based system, so if you're new to die cutting, you're going to absolutely uh, adore this. Make sure you grab it this week whilst you've got those 100 bonus points. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want... Uh, there we are. Uh, that was Adam's fault, in case anyone was wondering. If this show gets reviewed, it was Adam's fault. Uh, 69.99, or 89.95, uh, if you want to go for uh, that amazing... Uh, get it, got it, good. Right, card of the show, Debbie. Oh, another one. Oh. We've done five, wow. I know. <laughs> it's been so much fun that I've not realised what we've done. So, number one, yes, was our star one, wasn't it? Then number two was our box. Number three was our dragonflies. Number four was our um, daisies. And number five was our little pop-out. So one, two, three, four, or five. One, two, three, four, or five. John's just bought me a cup of tea, right? John has upgraded himself. He actually took the trolley that he uses to put the samples on. He just came down like something out of <laughs> Acorn Antiques with a, with a trolley, literally a tea <laughs> trolley he had. It's like macaroons, macaroons. Uh, he's going to bring the tea trolley in. Look, he'll, he'll come and show you. I think you might have to come around the back though, John. No, he, he can't. They're not going to see your trolley there, I'm afraid. No, your trolley's too small. You need a, you're going to need a bigger trolley. Yeah. Okay, you, you just, you're just distracting now. Uh, right. <laughs> get your votes. No, he's not coming in. He couldn't, couldn't get his trolley around the back. It was too wide. Um, right. Get your votes in. Crafters TV on Facebook or Crafters Companion if you're across on YouTube. Oh, do you think we've got time to squeeze one more demonstration in with yes. these... Um, Panel dies, Debbie. Always, always awesome. time for an extra one. Isn't Let it? me uh, share with you then again exactly what you are getting in here. So you've got your daisies. Remember, five different ways of using these, which is absolutely uh, awesome. So then you've also got, they're only, what, about 8 50 each, these, when you uh, look at them at full price. Uh, and then obviously you're going to get your uh, Club Inspire discount off of there as well, which is awesome. So you've got the daisies, you've got the peonies, the butterflies, and you get the stars in there as well. Absolutely awesome uh, value for money. Uh, and lots of things you can do with them, uh, whether you're using them as a concept card, an edgeable left or right side, cutting them into the tops of boxes, sides of boxes, loads of things. I think it's, it's really important, isn't it, to have uh, tools and crafting items in your stash that you can do a whole host of different jobs with. Uh, lots of you still chatting away. Any questions or comments that you've got, get them in. You've still got time. Crafters TV on Facebook. Crafters Companion, uh, if you are across on YouTube. Uh, right, oh, you all right? That was very aggressive. 
<laughs> Are you not used to me doing that by now, Joe? No. Yeah. I'm always throwing my dyes down, very naughty. Uh, it just gets the um, the little pieces out. Oh, okay. And it's not my, it's someone else that's used the dye. They've left all the pieces in there. Who are we blaming? So. Who should we blame? I'd never have done that. No. no. Uh, right, anyway, Joe, we're going to be using our outside edges to start with. So all I'm going to do is place these down the side. It doesn't matter where they go. My piece of card, just in case anybody is wondering, is just over eight, so eight and a quarter uh, by six and three quarters. And then we're going to line up our dies on each side. So this is a nice way of being able to do it a little bit different. So just popping that down into place and then grabbing our other one and doing the same on this side. So there we go. And taping that one in. So I am going to use my big Gemini because uh, I've used that bigger piece of card to make sure they both go through. Um, and then we'll send that through. And then what we're going to do this time is I'm going to take some, I've got this gorgeous mustard card. Um, I think this was out of the farmhouse collection as well. And we're actually going to cut our dies out. So uh, we're just Craft, waiting for this one to come out. Crafty Vera wants to know, are John and Johnny two different people? Oh, they're very different people. They are two <laughs> different people indeed, yes. Uh, John Both is lovely though. Sorry? Both lovely. Both utterly, utterly adorable, utterly the pair of them. Lovely. Uh, John is our, um, what's your uh, job title again, John? <laughs> John doesn't know his own job title. Is it He's our studio manager. Um, no? A, no, a, no you, don't, you don't know it. Do you <laughs> know what it is? Backstage Adonis. <laughs> Oh, let's simmer down, Debbie. Um, <laughs> I was just going I was watching, you know. Viewers. I was watching. Um, <laughs> I'll see back, uh, uh, product John call, Backstage product coordination manager. Something like that. Uh, and Johnny is... Johnny is... He's our producer. Senior producer. There you go. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, they are two very different people. So if you go onto my Joe Remnant's Crafters Companion Facebook page, uh, you'll see a picture of myself, John and Johnny, all watching the football together. There you go. It was very loud. Lots of screaming, lots of jumping around. <laughs> lots of shuffling of chairs from John. Johnny hiding behind partitions. Honestly, <laughs> it was a lot, Debbie, wasn't it? Where were, you, where were you watching the football on Sunday? I was actually in the Radisson Hotel in Durham. Were you? Yeah. Like in your room or in a bar? No, in the bar. Wow. Yeah. I felt like we had front row seats. Did you? It was amazing. Were so. you screaming like oh you did Oh my in goodness, here? yeah. I was up in the air like, get in there, England. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Harry, what are you doing? Yeah, I was very focal. Amazing. Ben was laughing at me last week because he said he's never known a woman like me. <laughs> wow. Gets excited about the football. <laughs> ah, you should have seen me when the first England goal went in on uh, Sunday. Went off, didn't it, in here? Throwing pints of beer in the air we were. It was like box park in Croydon. <laughs> so let's... Johnny <laughs> nearly decapitated himself in his headset, <laughs> fell off his chair. <laughs> Honestly, poor Jam was only trying to do a, a Zev Fold card. Bless her. So she didn't stay and watch it with you then? No, she was obviously... But she, she was... That's it. She was like, toodle pip. Um, <laughs> no, obviously, but it was on for the first part of the show, wasn't it? So... Uh, it was on whilst we were on air. Uh, Patty, she's sneaking in the last little bit of the show. Uh, work has so rudely been getting away with my crafter's TV time. Can't be having that. Can't be having that. I wonder how many people secretly watch us at work, Debbie. Oh, yeah. Oh, let Especially us know now a lot do. of people are working from home. Makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? I sometimes have you on, and then I often wonder why. Yeah, I don't think you... I think you'd be allowed, though, Debbie, in your job. I think that's all right. <laughs> I don't mean I often wonder why, as in, like because it's bad um, because I'm because I'm always normally if I'm, I'm watching it's because I'm crafting and I'm just keeping an update of what's going on but I then can't remember anything because actually what I'm doing is crafting and uh, away with the fairies really am I boring you Joe? <laughs> do you know what Upo paper is? <laughs> <laughs> no do you know where the name of Upo paper comes from? right <laughs> can I just pause if you're watching the earlier show that would be hilarious if you didn't 
If you didn't see the earlier show, <laughs> you'll just be like tumbleweed. Uh, can I just pause you for a second, Debbie? Would you mind? Yeah, I'm just going to carry on sticking. So okay. what you can see there is I've just cut out the edges and then cut these out separately to mat and layer on. Uh, I just wanted to share with you. So the uh, Dragonfly card uh, is card of the show, which was this uh, lovely one uh, that Debbie made just here. So card of the day then, in that case, will be either number one, number two, or number three. There you are. What would you vote for, Johnny? Two, what would you vote for, Debbie? Uh, I wasn't watching to see the numbers. I, 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 <laughs> I, I can understand now why you don't watch Crafters TV and try and craft at home. <laughs> Makes sense now. Adam, which one would you vote for? Two. I'd vote for three, I think. Uh, anyway. I would not vote about, for the dragonfly. What I'd vote for the dragonfly, ah, yeah. Right. Um, anyway, it's not our decision, is it? It's your decision at home. Uh, so one, two or three, let me know. Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion across on YouTube. Christy is watching from home at work. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. Mm. Working from home. But watching at, from home at work. That way around makes it sound like she's living at work, but I know what she means. She's working from <laughs> home and watching us at the same time. Right, so what I've got here is just some pretty papers from our celebration um, collection, uh, sorry, paper pad. Uh, and I'm just going to stick these into the centre. So I've made a nice little easel card out of this one. So pop that into there. I think this is from those pads you had earlier, Joe. Is it the Oh, the ones from the Year of Craft? Yes, that's where these ones mm, are from. Absolutely. And then we're just going to pop. I've just put some um, tape uh, foam on the, uh, the back. So we will just take those off. And then I'm going to stick that just inside now we've when you're doing a stopper you just always want it a little bit higher which is why i put it on some foam pads uh, and then i've got a little celebrate here so we'll stick that one on the front and then we've got that main one that we've done so this is our main topper but what i've done is I kept the stars so can you see all these little stars in oh, between yeah. i've just kept them all and all i'm going to do oh i was going to take my little glue bottle and i haven't got gloria with me so i am going to we'll probably have a bit of uh, bigger blobs but i do want to just put some of those stars on and in fact before i do that joe i'm going to stick that to the bottom so that's going to go onto here so all i want to do is make sure so it's roughly about there i don't want to go higher than this piece so i'm just going to pop all my glue on there and then we will stick that to our base just on there like that and that will then enable us to get that gorgeous easel card and then we're going to just dot our glue just to put on once we've got that glue coming out it can uh, there we go just put little glue dots to fill the center and then we can add all these it just gives that it just works everything in together then placing these and these things although they take a little bit more time they're just a really lovely yeah, it really addition. Adds to it, isn't it? yeah it really does it pulls it all in together uh, and makes it look really pretty and stars I love working with uh, so anything to do with stars I think they're really workable dies for so many different occasions um, you know whether you've passed your um, driving test whether you're taking your exams um, you know or just celebrating a birthday they go for absolutely everything and then one more just to fill in some of those gaps I've just got some nice little gems that we can put in between so I'm just using my pokey tool pick them up and pop them in between those stars and there we go so just add in to all those decorations let's just do one more there and there we go we've got that gorgeous easel card with that beautiful topper how yeah. awesome is that really a uh, really lovely uh, card there which is fantastic 3377 or 3887 if you want to get your hands on those uh right here we go so you can go for the what well, you're going to get them all for this price definitely get them together you've got great saving here daisies the peonies the butterflies and you're getting the stars in there as well. Uh, Lynn says, when I was doing remote teaching, I always have to have the shows on in the background and one AirPod in so I could hear you. Wow. 
teaching, so she'd be teaching and have an AirPod in at the same time. That's quite the skill. Uh, Charlotte says, are those the stars cut out from the dies? Yes. They are indeed, uh, Charlotte. Demo of the day is the number three, the dragonflies, my favourite one. So I'm very pleased about that, Debbie. I'm going to pop yes. your name uh, onto the back of here and we'll pop it up uh, onto the cabinet of creativity. It is, is it, no, it's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Wednesday. It is, yes. There we go. Okay, there it goes. On it goes, Debbie. Congratulations. Is that two you've got up now? No, this was yesterday's. Jan uh, and Craig. So Craig, Jan, uh, and uh, and thing have all got one. So Craig, Jan, and Debbie got one each now. Uh, right, Hero Tool, which is down here. Uh, now let me share this again with you. This is absolutely fantastic. So uh, what we've got here is this tote. Now the tote originally uh, was designed to uh, hold your Gemini Go. Uh, so if you've got the Gemini Go, of course it's going to fit perfectly in here. Uh, it will also fit your Gemini Mini as well, which is awesome. Uh, so you can use it for that. But I think it's a really nice sized tote. It's actually quite deep for the size, if that makes sense. It's got quite high walls on it, which is fantastic. You're paying for this. Uh, you've got two pockets on the inside six pockets around the outside so you're really going to be able to completely fill these these pockets got really nice deep gussets in there as well so you're going to be able to get loads in them uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to give you well, you actually got more than the value of the bag included in free hero tools so you've got a dye brush and a sponge um uh, what's what's that lock bottom bit called i always forget dye brush and foam pad there we go you're also going to get uh, the bone folder in there for all your scoring and burnishing uh, we're going to give you a tape pen in there You've also got a blending tool, the round one there with a replacement head, and also uh, the acrylic metal edge ruler, which is fantastic for uh, cutting things with your craft knife, which is uh, awesome. Don't miss out on that. Remember as well, with the Hero Tool, it's a time-limited offer, so we only hold that deal for 24 hours. Most of our offers here on Crafter TV last 48 hours, time-limited ones 24 hours. I want to go back to the liftables again for you. Very busy. Uh, you guys have loved these in this show, and I think it's because they're completely customizable. Uh, you know, they are, rather than them being sort of uh, a cluster of dies on one uh, die cut, you've got all the individual dies. Now, obviously, uh, it's, it's more expensive to manufacture than this, but we give you such great value for money we've been able to afford to do it so you've got the butterflies you've got the dragonflies the hearts were in there but then there's the flowers the stars and also the fairies in there as well uh platinum price there 39.19 or 55.80 uh, if you want to get your hands on those i want to remind you again uh, about the craft kit as well um, very busy on this it is the most recent uh, release for 24.99 platinum members less than 20 pounds less than 20 dollars you will get 50 bonus points as well including there so you'll get what um 70 to 75 points depending on where you are in club inspire the other great thing about this as well is that you uh, will get so much in here so you've got metal dies clear stamps card blanks envelopes ribbons uh, colored card in here uh, printed papers and you're going to get in there four video tutorials for you as well over on craftscompanionbox.com over 200 elements in there too so whether you want to use it all together as intended I mean the amount of um, consumables that are in here I think you go you'd pay more than that just for the consumables on their own then you've got the dies and stamps which are going to last forever for you too and if you're newer to crafting what's great is you know everything in here is going to work together everything the context of the box when it comes to the pattern papers the dies the stamps they're all exclusive to the particular box so you won't then find this in another collection somewhere if you went for this and then decided to buy a larger collection of pop-out scenes you would actually have different ones which I think is absolutely awesome and really well thought out uh, which is fantastic um, Joe was that a fountain pen you were writing with on Debbie's cards no it was a ballpoint pen but it was a ballpoint pen that Debbie Robinson had made for me how cute was that and uh, I take it with me everywhere you know Debbie every single day uh, so I don't think I've ever kept something so long without losing it I lose everything oh. uh, but I've had it well where are we now I mean Crafters TV but I mean the year <laughs> July uh, August I've had it 10 months and not lost it I take wow. it out with me every day I mean that's quite miraculous um, question will the midi fit in that tote bag I don't think it will to be honest um, no it's a little bit too wide I believe uh, right, uh, loads coming up tomorrow uh, here on Crafters TV. Debbie, you've got you're here with, a couple of us, with us for a couple of days more, aren't you? Yes, here tomorrow and Friday. Yes. Awesome. Uh, so wake up call coming up at midday tomorrow here in the UK, 7am East Coast, 
Uh, 3 p.m. tomorrow is that masterclass, 10 a.m. East Coast. Uh, that's flower forming for you. And then there's also a, a whopper, a bumper cartload coming up with Debbie uh, as well. Ben will be back with you for a couple of days. Uh, and then I'll be here uh, on Saturday. Uh, George will be here for a bit on Sunday, as will I. And then I'll be with you all the way through to the end of next Thursday. Gosh, enjoy the break. I mean, uh, it's going to be, and I tell you, Sunday, wherever you are, I don't care what you've got on, 7 p.m. UK time, 2 p.m. East Coast time, clear your diary uh, and make sure you're here with Crafters TV because we are launching something absolutely uh, colossal. Uh, I would say, apart from our birthday, potentially one of the biggest events of the year uh, is going to start this coming Sunday. You'll definitely want to make sure you join myself and Sarah for it. It's a three hour uh, launch show. So something that's going to continue into next week as well. So uh, yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, Debbie, uh, absolute pleasure. Thank you for uh, spending the day with me in the craft room. I've enjoyed every second of it. Thank you, Joe, and safe journey home. Thank you very much. I play that game now. Do you play this game on a long commute? If you can stop, you can get all the way home without stopping. I always get all the way home without Do stopping. you? Do you not have to stop, you know? You don't have to stop like to just, you know, Nip, dip into the services or no, get a drink or a no, coffee. No. It's a long way, two hours. I feel that's a big commitment for four. no stopping. <laughs> John, look, John's a man that has to stop. He always stops. I never stop. We're, me and John always stop at the same services, but sometimes when I'm feeling in an exciting mood, I'll challenge myself to see if I can get all the way home without stopping. Maybe tonight's one of those times. I'll let you know when I see you next week. Uh, have a great day. Big thanks to John. Big thanks to Johnny and Adam. Uh, big thanks to you guys at home. I'll see you back here on Saturday. Bye.